Hello, welcome everybody to my home. And um, my husband is up for the challenge because I wanted to do this class and I thought what better way than to um, have him doing it as I'm explaining it because we're about to see if it's easy or not. We are going to see if it's, you know, what my goal is to for you to do a project that is 60 minutes or less. Use the supplies that you have. And um, your everything, of course, that I'm using is products that I had here at the house or that I designed, but be creative make this your own. So one of the things that I have done for years is I've designed notebooks and I don't use notebooks just for writing notes and those kind of things. I actually have always used notebooks in different ways. So this is my husband, Mr. Brian Chad Weber, and he Sorry, actually wants trouble. to do this. So while I am talking, I would love for those of you who have printed out your free PDFs, if you have not printed these out, these were emailed to you when you signed up for my newsletter. I promise you it's worth signing up for my newsletter and being part of our family. So what you're going to do while I'm talking, if you haven't already, I want you to start cutting out your PDFs. So what I want to know, do you want, I did this on purpose. So you have one PDF that has no words on it right? Because I'm going to show you that I used both in my project. So this one is if you don't want any words, mm -hmm. and this is if you like words. So obviously I'm not going to spend 20 minutes letting you cut things out, but I just want you to cut some out and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on what I do. Because we want to come some out, my husband just asked me, show me your clear box. Okay. So my husband said, what is this? Um, it is something that I had purchased. Where did I get this? It was at the dollar store. It was a dollar. So I had these already. And so what I like to do is because I try to be as clutter free when I'm creating. So I like to take this. So Brian, you are going to start cutting out. Well, I'm going to go with the ones with. Work. You, you won't work. Okay. So you're going to cut these out. Now, I want to show you what I've already done. I have cut some out while Brian is cutting some out and maybe you're cutting some out. When you're cutting these out, I always get asked in class, how should I cut these out? What kind of paper? This is just regular printer paper because if you're working in a notebook, for me, look how thick it already is. And I'm going to show you my pages, but I don't really want it too thick. So I don't use pop-up dots. I don't use anything for added like dimension. So with that in mind, if you will cut these out and I just go as close to the image as I can, and then I like to keep them, I like to store them in a box because I don't like to have them scattered everywhere. So Brian is cutting things out. I'm going to look and see what he's focusing. So far so good. And um, you can kind of see I have a box here. So this is a little tip that I personally like to do is I like to get little clear containers and I like to keep my cutouts from these. I want to show you why I have added both of these. In this project, this is a notebook. I feel like I see that. Um, this is a 64 page Teresa Collins notebook. Not all notebooks are made the same. Now I'm not just saying that because I do notebooks, but I am not one, I cannot stand notebooks that the paper pages are too thin or if I write on one side that it's going to go to the back side. Uh, I'm so, making myself a fussy cutting. Okay. Hmm? Okay, go ahead. I even knew the word. Fussy cutting. Okay. A plus. A plus. So, right. wait, wait, wait. No, actually, you didn't. Oh, okay. he missed the bottom part. Okay, he missed the bottom it. part. So, I wanted him to do this because this is something that I like to do when I, um, which PDF do we cut? Either whatever, I use both. I use both, but my husband wanted to do the ones with words first. And you're just going to cut a few because you, I just want to kind of go through it. Um, I want to show that you could actually do this project in 60 minutes if you just put your photos and then added the labels and stuff later. So for those of you who are just joining, I want to thank you for coming. This is literally, literally one of my Teresa-isms, my first literally. online workshops 
ever. And so thank you oh, for teacher, joining teacher, me. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Yes. How'd I do? That you did really good. So he cut this. And what he's going to do is he's just going to put it in his Brian box to keep it. And he's going to keep cutting those out. Now, I like to go as close as I can to the... Um, the image, the icon. Now, one of the things that I want to show you that I super, super loved, and I wanted to give this to you, and I cut one, I have one for me, is all these blank labels. Labels are so important if you want to make an easy project that you're going to give away. What Brian does not know is he's actually going to give his book away. To After all this hard work, I have to give it away. You're giving it to Gentry because... Gentry doesn't have any photos of Emmy that was born oh, almost two weeks ago, 12 days ago. And so you're doing a project for Gentry. Okay, now, you, now I'll be more careful now, with which one I choose. Okay, that's good to know. So he's going to do that. So if you see these blank ones, as you know, like a lot of people are like, now I'm cutting mine out. I probably cut a little bit faster than Brian, but that's okay. It's not a speed race. And one of the things that you could do is you could watch something like Tiger King or what else should we watch? What should we watch? You did really, Brian, you did actually really good. So he cut another one out that said 24 seven. And I'm just gonna cut some just to, just to show you what I like to do. So most of these are going to fit. If you have on the supply list, I put the Teresa Collins sticker maker. I'm gonna show you how to use those. So there's another one. Now see, it, it, look how bad mine looks, Brian. It's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. And the sure. reason why, the, no, the reason why on this, by the way, you probably already know this, but you could print this out on any color. So if you wanted pink, if you wanted blue, if you wanted yellow, you did not have to use white. I just said white because I didn't want to confuse anybody. But how cute would this be for you to take this and print it out again in like a blush pink. So what I want to show you on the label pages, when I gave those to you, I went through my entire book and I have almost labels on every page. And so when you look at this book and we actually go through the book, I wanted to show that that's why it doesn't have to be necessarily absolutely perfect. Imagine if you want to put a label on this page I love to do this. We would put adhesive on both sides and see how it does not have to be perfect. Oh, this is Emmy. So this is the perfect way to add a label into journal without taking away from your photo. Photo. Now, when I did this project, you can see that I wanted to be able to let my photos be a photo album. I wanted these to be something that, like when you look at this book, and for those of you who are cutting out, I know you're probably not looking so much at my photos, but every single photo, I have 70 photos in my notebook. Now my pages um, are very, very um, sturdy. So in my notebook here, and if you go through my album, I wanted to keep it very simplistic it, in so much that I've got writing on some pages, but I deliberately did not make it like more of a scrapbooky mini book. I made it as this is a memory photo album. Is there writing in some of these? Yes, yes. But it's very minimal because I wanted to maintain a very simple DIY 30 minute book so that people um, did not feel overwhelmed. I wanted this to be a very basic, but this is what I've done with some of the labels. So you guys, what I do is I love to take labels. I've done this forever. I will take a label, I will fold it in half, and right here you can see that then I will write, you guys, your pen. You're like, this is, I'm using my I Am Enough Teresa Collins pen. It's blush pink. It's super cute. And I wrote right here on the label. So this way, it's very, very simple. But look how cute this is. So one label folded in half goes from the front and the back. Because there's, there's one thing that I want you to know when you're doing any kind of photos. These are the things you need to remember. You may know who is in that photo. Other people won't. So even though it may feel redundant to write for me Ezra's name or I always do 
who, what, when, where. Now, one of the tags that you have in that printout, you can print this out 10 times, you guys. You can print it as long as you're not reselling it because this was free for you taking the workshop. Who, what, when, where. That's so important. So Emmy, Emmy Ann, what? It was her birthday, the day she was born, um, when 3-25-2020, and where I put Utah because I didn't want to put the hospital that she was born in, but normally I would. But you, this is what I'm talking about. So you are able to document in a very simplistic way. You can make this album, I timed myself, with your photos, Minus the cutting time, you could do this in an hour. Now, this is just one of my album, I mean notebooks, and this is the before. So it's just a regular notebook. This is my leopard notebook. This is 64 pages. You can see that they're notebooks, but you don't have to, you can use any notebook that you have. I do suggest whatever notebook that you use that it's got a little thicker, all notebook papers are not the same. Um, and so this is, this one, Brian's gonna have to decide which one he is going to use. So as Brian is cutting these out, you guys, he's actually doing really good. He has done memories. Um, because we're giving this to Gentry, I want you to know that I deliberately did not put the flowers in this one because this is just a very simple and I didn't want people to go oh but I could go back and add so many flowers you guys you can do your album any way you want to you can see this one says this is one of the blank ones and it says Emmy and I wrote in five pounds 14 ounces labels are one of my favorite ways to add to my project because you can really personalize those so you can see where there's ones with like who, what, when, where. Um, I love these tabs. If you see these, what I use with these throughout my project and where you can add these are at the top of your pages. So this one happened to be the blank one that I put Mal and Ezra. There's Daddy Mal and Ezra. And that's all I put on this page, you guys. I could add so much more, but I didn't want anyone to feel like overwhelmed because this is, I actually have a project that I think I will be doing next week that is more detailed, more, you know, but this is the basic DIY. You can do this. I'm going to encourage every single one of you that are here to do a notebook album this week. So, so simple. And like I said, this is 74 photos, 74, 70, 70, not 74, 70 photos I counted in my book. And very, very simple. There's no rules. That's the one thing I want you to know. Like you can see here, this is one of the tabs right here that has nothing on it. This is the one that says photo. And, I, and again, I wrote the word Ezra. Not that I'm going to forget Ezra, but years from now, I may go, who was in there? This was Gentry's baby shower, and it says Olive Garden Emmy's baby shower. And I can go back and write dates and different things, which I will, but I, for this online workshop, I did not want to overwhelm and you go, oh, what did she write? But look how simple this is. This is Emmy's photo. It's a four by six photo, and I just have the word happy right there, and I will put more info. But let your photos, there is no, um, I just put photos in here, you guys, and I did not worry about, did they match? Some are color, some aren't. And as Brian starts putting photos in our notebook, I will show you. For example, these were all four by six photos, except for this one. Oh, this one right here. And we just cut those down. And I gave you the star on your PDF because I love stars. Stars remind me to shine. And so I will cut those out and put those on the project as well as this little piece right here on this. Um, and I deliberately, um, right here it says, it was one of the blank ones and I said, worldwide Ezra. And I said, stay home, stay safe. And then I put um, 
coronavirus. Now, not that I want to remember, but this entire album is from photos that we that I have printed and things that have been happening in the last couple of months, 2020 for my family. Um, yes, Brian is fussy. He is getting into this, you guys. Okay, guess what? This yeah. is what I like to do when I'm teaching a real like in class, I always say, I always reward people and normally I give them something. Treats. So I got a treat for you. Oh yeah. So I don't want you to get chocolate on your fingers. So you, I have to feed it to you. Don't bite my hand. But a sea lion. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, you, were, you, you took apple. the whole thing. I thought you would eat half of it. It's bite size. Okay, so he got Snickers. He likes Snickers. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you all a virtual Snickers and a Good job. You're doing so good. <laughs> so while you're doing that, oh, you guys, seriously, like, look how cute this is. Like your photos. And I even accidentally printed out photos that were ones I posted on Instagram with writing on it. And I go, all the better. So many people think there are rules and there are no rules in your creativity and your memory keeping. So Brian is going to decide. So while he's cutting this, and I'm going to let everybody else keep cutting for the next, um, you know, five or ten minutes, because one of the tips that I got from a good friend, aka Tammy, was allow people time to actually cut things. I know some of you may have been cutting things, and that's okay. But if you haven't, keep cutting this. This is um, I some. This is going to be my last one. I got like 10 of them. Is that good? Yeah, that's okay. He's going to cut a few more and that's totally fine because we can create with that. Because I do want to show, because I'm going to challenge, by the time this hour is up at 5 o'clock, Brian, you oh. are going to have all, at least 64 <laughs> photos because there's 64 pages in the album. If you choose to do more, you can, but this is your album because Brian can do it. Anybody can. Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear that Okay, I said if Brian can do it. So, um, and this is where I deliberately, you guys, I wanted to use all my cute little washi tape and add them on my notebook, and you can. I deliberately will add some now, but I didn't want you or anyone to feel that like, oh gosh, I have to do it exactly like this. But I'm going to take my album and show you how simple it is through Brian as we go through Brian's. So this is, um, for example, two four by six photos. And I love notebooks because you can follow the lines here and write on the lines. And then I like to underline it and use my coloring pencil, but like Aiden and Zach in San Francisco, this was right before everything got shut down in the world in March. And so I love that you know, I, I had these photos. You can never go back and take photos. And that's one of the things while Brian is cutting a couple more things is if in doubt, take the photo, take the photo. So many times we, we make excuses. I don't look good. My hair doesn't look good. This is boring. We're in our home. Take photos. So now this is the next step. Do I get step. another Snickers for that yet? No, you have not earned another Snickers, but good job. What you're going to do is you are going to show how to, we're gonna add photos to the album. Now, you have, the big decision for you is which notebook you wanna use. Now, you could use, these are some of our smaller ones because you can make photo albums out of these, but honestly, because they're four by six, um, I, I went to Emmy, our right? stash, this is for Emmy. So I, I grabbed a bunch and you get to decide. So you could use the exact same album I used. You could use Do It With Passion. Um, here's another one. Here is another like Cheetah because these. Girl and, hey Girl, Hey. You or think, You Are Magic. You Are Magic. What about. I like the sparkly. The sparkly. So we have gold or silver. I thought, okay, I'm going to take, okay. Say sparkly. What should he use for Emmy, you guys? This is going to be Emmy's, like... I feel like pink goes for girls the most, obviously, but... Okay, what about do what you love? I am very busy. I thought you... Okay, so this one, do you... You can't use this one. This one is a notebook that I do um, happy thoughts and journaling. And so I thought I would show you this. Um, this is... 
something that I, you can also do, my goals. This is my actual notebook. So um, if you want, I thought I could also do this as a workshop later. So let me know if you like, if you would like to do the handwriting, all of this as a, as a workshop. Okay, so wh what are we doing? You're on with your magic. You are magic is the notebook we are using, not the little ones. Okay, so Brian Weber, thank you. So you took the packaging out, class 20. It's a promo code. You can save. 20% if you're watching this, all you have to do, promo code CLASS20 on notebooks, stickers, washi, die cuts, Xyron sticker maker, I, um, and I added the pens and tools just because in journaling. So for you guys for being here, thank you. If you want to get something, again, you don't have to buy a thing. This is totally free, but if you want to grab notebooks that would make them 20% off of all of these things. Brian Weber, you have a notebook. So these are photos that are mixed with a bunch of our family and our kids and different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Brian, I, I strategically, just to help him a little bit, I already made a cute little thing with, this is from Target. So what I've done here is I've added photos of Emmy already. So I'm going to take these out and you're so lucky because you get to add these. And what he's going to do is he's going to take a photo and he's going to use whatever you want to use, but do not, please do not use a liquid adhesive. Why shouldn't you use a liquid adhesive? Uh, it's going to go right through that paper. It will. Now, if you want to use a glue stick, have at it. You can. If you want to use double-sided tape, have at it. I want you to be able to do this faster and know that it's going to last. So you're going to use the Teresa Collins sticker maker. Have you ever used the Teresa Collins sticker maker? That's the mega runner young lady. Oh gosh. See? He mm -hmm. just schooled me yes, in my I workshop. Okay, do you know how to use it? Great. Do you want to demonstrate? Okay, so you're going to, do you know how to do this? Yeah, watch. Okay, I'm going to watch. Yeah. Okay, a little bit slower. I know the reason why I always say that I have people in class. Okay, but you tell me, down each side good enough or not really? It's actually good enough, but some people will want to do all four sides and that's okay. So where are you going to put this on your first page, Mr. Weber? Well, Everybody's watching. I kind of feel like I want to go on the cover. Oh, okay. I love that, you guys. The inside the cover. cover, he is actually doing it. And you didn't measure, you just eyeballed. I love that. Pretty good, right? Okay, so what picture would you like to put okay. now? So you're going to take this. Do you know how to make a sticker? I do. So you put this down so inside your sticker fit. maker. Yeah. Oh, no, some of them fit. want some of them, but like, so we're just going to pull down and make a sticker. So those of you who, you could actually put adhesive on the back, but Brian wanted to, he wanted to go ahead and add a sticker. The sticker is only on the back. You can do it upside so, down. So um, you go ahead. Okay. You're going to, so go ahead and do what you want to do. I'm taking photos. So, did you want to? I'm gonna, you I want to? Like I want to go right there. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go right there. Okay. Perfect. See, this is what I love. And you can use the you can use the lines as your guide. So, well, here I is. Like gonna fit there is that where good. you want it? Okay. Do you want to just put one photo on there? Is that what you're wanting to do? Yeah, because I'll leave a little more room there. To okay. Write okay. So if you put one photo on every page, you will have 64 and then you put right here. So that would be 65 photos that you can add. Now I would, my suggestion is to use your lines on your book as your guide. Does that make sense? Perfect. That's what I did. Notebooks are perfect for that. So use your lines as your guide. And so then what I love about this is normally I would fill this out, but I think we should let Gentry fill this out yes. because so now you can go to the next page. I think he's enjoying this. Green. Now I would, just so you know, so I would, and it really doesn't matter, but you're going to put photos on every page. Front and back of each page? Yes. And a little suggestion. I like to... I like to see how this is, is sometimes I will put photos right here in the middle, but sometimes I put them down just to give more strength too. But hey, like this is my back. project, man. Back off. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You just do that. Okay. Now remember, use the lines. Dead center. Dead center. That's totally fine. Okay. Okay. 
turn that around and, and just lift it up and show it to everybody. Okay. Now, you guys, there's no rules. There's no rules on... I'm going to go with the sideways one. Okay. Now, if you want to go with the sideways one, what I want you to do is we're going to trim it. And I did do that. So, you want to add just one sideways there? Okay. Do you know how to use a trimmer? Do I? Um, okay. This is the Teresa Collins Gold Fiskars Trimmer. How much did you take off? Just I want to just get the okay. finger off because I don't want to. It's not a lot of room to work with there. Okay. So the, our notebooks are six inches wide, so you can always just kind of. And here's, can I give you a suggestion? Okay. This is this is why I love this. Now, when you're oh oh, you want to do it here this way? Okay. No, I'm going sideways. You're going sideways. You want to you want Emmy to go sideways? Yeah. You did perfect. Now. I want to show you something. Now, I've learned something about doing notebooks because I've done a lot of these. When you put this on your book, he trimmed enough, which would be fine here, but don't go so close to the edge because it makes it hard to open and close. So when you put your photos in going vertical, I mean horizontal. Yeah, horizontal. Yeah, horizontal, sorry. I tend to like go towards the book edge because this way you don't have to worry about... Um, if you go too close right here in the crease, yeah. it gets kind of like it doesn't want to open and close. Okay, go ahead. I am really impressed with you. Okay, you're doing really good. You are doing really good. Now, one thing I noticed you just did is you got glue on the page. And so what I like to do is what I like to do when I'm using my adhesive gun so that I don't mess up my table like he probably might do is use them. Um, yeah, something like I do. Okay. So he just got that on the table. Okay. So okay, I'm I'm right. not gonna put make it my work tray. yes, Don't put it on a work tray. I just see I these are little tips. So Go right up to the you're edge going there. towards the edge, okay? Smooth. Okay. Okay. Now I got all the space. I want to work. I want to work a little flower in there. Okay. So here's my suggestion for a flower. So Brian, this flower is bigger than this particular sticker maker. So I love flowers, and I like to actually one is that is great. But I would suggest that if you want to add a flower, that we put two flowers right there together. And okay, so. Yeah, uh, you matter? could. Or you could always do, like, this is what I believe, I like more photos than not. Like, I would put two photos on here, and I would do this, just because there's no rules. So he does not want to add two photos, which I would, because I love, I call it extra real estate. Like, I would, if this was me, and I'm not telling him what to do, I would add this, and I would put two. But because it's a notebook, I normally, on many books, I like things hanging off, but I wouldn't. On this so I would probably put two here Brian does not want to do that which is fine so okay that's totally good but as long as you put one photo per page I think you're gonna be good Brian you're gonna go over our hour limit I would suggest you go back and add those extra things at the end I would just take photos and do at least one per page to show them an easy book in one hour so that's what we're gonna do so while you're doing that, is it okay if I just show everybody, you're going to add one photo, pages, you you're going to do a few pages, and I'm going to show you how to use the sticker maker. Again, you do not have to use the sticker maker. The sticker maker basically turns paper. Um, the width of this is about one and a half. You can get bigger sticker makers, but this is the one I predominantly use. And, um, and you can also use the Teresa Collins Mega Runner. And this one does have refills. So a lot of people ask me, they go, I don't understand how it works. If you, you can just buy refills and put it in. And this is like 100 feet of tape. And you can see it goes a long way. And I just like it because it's faster. And it's, an, it's a great adhesive. I always say your adhesive is your foundation. Don't skip on your adhesive. And you can get these online. And you can get these, I know, like Michael's. Hobby Lobby, um, different places, Zyron, Amazon, you know, um, your local crafting store, please, if they have it, buy local, buy local, buy local. Um, and so that is what he is using right now. And again, the, the key is really go slower, go slower. It is so important if you can go slower. Um, here's more pictures. Of, I'm, I'm giving him a whole bunch of pictures of Emmy so that he has an album for just Emmy. The tray is the top off of one of my Ikea white bins. 
And so I take it off and I use it as a tray because I've not been able to find one that's smaller. And can I show this? Yeah, go for it. Okay, you guys, Brian is killing it. Okay, I love what you're doing. Give me five. You're doing good. Okay, so this is a tray lid. It literally goes on. It's a bin that we got at Ikea. Yes, it is. And I just use it for crafting and I keep it in my bedroom because I'm all the time planning at night. This is perfect for planners as well. I like to put my things on here. Okay, Brian, you're doing good. Other than he got some glue on, you got some glue on my table. Brian tends to be really fast, a little bit, a little bit and, but use the guy, the lines of your notebook, you guys, it's really going to make a difference. Now, when you do this, I want you to show them what you're doing um, because so this- I want top here, so I'm gonna kind of go bottom here. Okay, on the next, yes, because, and you're using the, are you using the line as your guide? Yes, ma'am. And then show them what you did. Because this is what is perfect because you could add all the way up to five by seven photos. I want top here so I'm lower here just so it's not all fat at the top. Yes. Perfect. 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 Um, there's there's more pictures. There's a picture of Devin holding his baby. Should we give him a picture of us? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there's, these are all pictures like Gentry right before she had the baby. Um, this is way too dark, but that's okay, you guys. Your photos, I always get so, I actually have had people in my workshops, they would take photos and go, I don't like that and throw it away. And I'm like, don't throw away your, your photos and your memories. So you guys, okay, look at this. Look how good this is. You are doing very good. Coming along. Notebook memory albums are the best. They're affordable. Mm, you can give these, okay, black and white. You just mix it up. And I'm telling you, these are the kind of things that you, you can't, these are photos I stole from Gentry, you guys. She sent me some. If those of uh, you are always like, I don't have photos. There's Cooper holding her. Like, don't worry about it. Just put them in there. Brian is, I'm seeing now that he's seeing it. Like, it doesn't matter. You can use black and white. You can use, you know, your, your life isn't perfect nor will your photo albums be because that to me is the reality of like this is real life you guys this is these have not i did not edit one of these photos i did not some of them look better than others but that's what it's about so this is okay i love how brian is actually doing differently than i did if you see my album um brian is mixing and he's doing a lot towards the edge I tend to, in my album, um, I did a lot more like right in the center, I noticed. Like I did a lot right in the center, but that just goes to show you there's no wrong way or right way. Just take your photos and put them in an album or a notebook. This is such an easy way to document your, your photos and your memories. Now remember, don't get too close to the edge, and that is a little... He's a cake. Okay. See, okay, he's doing good. He's doing good. He's doing good. He's doing good. The labels are perfect because this one I left blank to show you that I can write stuff here. Like, this is what's so perfect is with the blank ones is giving this as a gift to someone and allowing them to say what they want to say about their photos. Um, I think it's really important. And I think we're going to have to see all of these. Like Brian is going for it because I really want to fill this album up. This is Gentry's, um, all of these, are, these are good. These are good. I'm looking at all of these, Brian. I'm just giving you the photos. He's going for it. And so hopefully you are seeing, um, you are seeing, oops, sorry there. You're seeing all the possibilities that you can do. I'm just giving him all the photos. We did not practice this, you guys. I didn't say, hey, Brian, I want you to... Um, do this. I wanted him to feel creative and to show you that a lawyer by trade, Mr. Weber, can um, he can do it. And and if he can do it, we can all do it. And not that you can't do it. You're you're very good. Are you doing okay, or do you need a treat? Hit me up. You guys, he is not turning away the Snickers. Okay, do you want just one little bite or? Like, Okay, he's gonna take the whole thing. I wanted to do something that was very, oh, he's lining it up. Now make sure you show, talk, turn around because they're, get, they're not getting to see. Right, I'll go through the last few pages. Okay, because I feel like you're, you're yes. 
Not that, see, and what was your reason for what you're doing? I kind of want to mix and match sizes okay. and spaces. Okay, because you want... Down there, up here. Now, and here's the thing. Gentry could go back and add more photos. So you yeah. could add more photos if you're like, I just want photos. Or you can like, I love the space that you've left that for the journaling and for... Um, I love that. And I you. it's so funny because you've... You've put yours in definitely different places than I have. So maybe you want to look. Yeah, that's a little bit easier. Brian's learning. He's learning. That's good. Making progress here. And so while you're doing that, and we're showing that, I'm going to show you what I love to do. Now, Brian, in his little arsenal here, I want to show coloring pencils, you guys. The reason why I love coloring pencils is, one, I love coloring pencils, but also what I love about coloring pencils is they don't bleed through. And um, if I was just coloring on this page. Now, on this, I'm going to color, and if it's okay, I'm going to color. I know that Gentry loves um, pinks and blues and all these different colors, but just for right now, I'm going to use a gold. This is just a gold coloring there pencil. Oh, he's going to trim some photos. So as I'm here, do I know how? So I'm just going to show you, like, I love to take, and this almost does not look gold. It almost looks brown, but it's actually really pretty. And so I'm coloring, and you guys, there's nothing like being creative and using coloring pencils or whatever you want to use to the PDFs. Again, I think this is what one of my favorite things to do is just allowing myself to like have that time to be creative. And right now, this has given me so much peace. I don't know about you guys, um, guys and girls that are watching this, but I needed this. I needed, because do you know how many times I'm like... I spent all morning sending letters to people who didn't want to get letters from me. Really? As well, a lawyer? Have, have you been like saying, oh, well, yeah. Always nice, but you know. You're good. You're nice. So I, I, while you're adding that, I am coloring. And again, this is gold. I don't know if you can even see that I did that gold. And so, Brian, I'm going to cut these out because I know that like Gentry will love gold like in her book. It kind of looks brown on mine, but it really is kind of, um, it's gold. Now, if you're asking me what my favorite coloring pencils are, or my favorite brand, I don't have one. I use Crayola. I use um, Deets on the tray. The tray is from Ikea, you guys. I can, um, if you want, after I'm done, I can go look. It was Brian and I, well, actually, I bought three of them. I can take a photo and let you know, because it is the whole the it's a storage bin that i just use the top because it was the perfect tray that i've never been able to find you guys and brian was getting i don't like to get glue or stuff on my surfaces that i'm using and so then if i get glue here which i will clean that i will take the i'll get off that later after i after I, trimmer action. he's gonna trim what are you trimming babe are you showing them this one okay it's gonna be a little Actually, you know what? Can I do you, it though? I, you know what I did on this one? Because in my book, great question, you guys. Brian, show everybody this photo. He just asked me if, what, if, if he could trim that. And I will, that was Gentry's baby shower. And what I did is because I didn't want to trim off anybody, I just put it going this way in my page. All right. So you, I would just do that. And this, because this was Emmy's. Um, baby shower and I didn't want to cut off anybody. So that's the beauty of, of your photos is there's no rules. I can have a photo going this way and then I journal because we, this was right the week before everything went crazy. We went to Olive Garden and this is Gentry just wanted family only. She didn't even have any friends there even though we're her friends. And this was, we went to Olive Garden and we celebrated Emmy coming like a week later. And so, again, no rules. And so I'm glad you asked that, Brian. That was a great question to ask. And again, so I'm just coloring my um, flower in gold. My washi tape. So just so you know, I don't know if we're going to, you know, really show too much about you can add the washi tape. But I did want to show you these are rings that I purchased online. I love that you, also you just cut it a little trimmer. 
Now, what are, are you finding now that I told you to use your lines as a guide? It's perfect, right? Use your words. Use your words. But use your lines. It really helps. And so I love what he's doing. Gentry is going to be so shocked when she gets this. Like, Especially just, when I hit it with a bunch of washi tape. Are you going to hit it with washi tape? Okay, so this is Very how, deep. because I have to have it close. So a uh, little tip, I did buy these um, on Amazon. I'm sure you can find them other places. And I spray painted mine gold because I'm just that way. And the so these are all Teresa Collins washi tape that I, I love and I use. And so, because I plan every day, it's so easy for me to just grab these and use these. So that's another tip to have your crafting supplies close by. Look, you guys, look what Brian's doing, you guys. Like, oh. you're doing really good. I'm really proud of you. And I think he is loving this, you guys. So I'm just taking this. I colored this. And I'm going to just cut this out. Um, I could have used the other ones, but this way, if he wants to add these, he can, if he doesn't want to. Um, and again, while I'm actually, because you know how, like, I don't, I'm actually not going to cut all of these out, because I want to show you some of my book while you're cutting things out. Maybe you're putting photos in your book, or maybe you're just sitting here watching and saying, I'm going to do this right after. There, there's no rules. Um, I, and again, I just wanted to make it so, so simple so that you could see like Brian is going to finish this album in an hour. Um, so what I did on my first page, there is a photo of Brian and I, and I did the tag and you have every single thing that you see. And I said, I want to remember this. And then I wrote the word remember. Now this is one of your tags and I showed how you can take it and I just fold those over and my pen. I always, always have notebooks and pens. And I wrote the word remember. Okay, that's the photos. You, you did all the photos? Okay, so did we run out of their new photos? Okay, so, um, oh, here you go. You didn't put that in. You have that to put in. And only, I think that's the only one left to do. Yeah, you're right. So Brian only has one more photo um, because I wanted to just have this for Emmy. But Gentry can add some more, but you probably added, he's got almost the whole album done. So, are you done with that one? You're going to put that in? I would do that so you don't skip a page. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now, why don't we add a couple of the other things that you've done? It is, it does feel thick, huh? And you can see here, so if you like the words on it, like this happened. So you can see that I wrote the word Ezra on this page. I had this happen on the opposite page. When I go through the next page, it says um, I wrote down Kai first birthday. So this was Kai's first birthday. This all was our life for 2020. And I had done, by the way, one of the things I love to do is if you don't have photos and maybe you want to make a quote book, this was one of my posts that I did. It's going to be okay. Let's do whatever it takes. And I just printed off my, my social media post and then I printed it and I cut it down because I want to remember this in this time of our life. And I put Kai card and you go, okay, why did you put his last name? All four of Taylor's kids look so much alike, you guys. If I don't document which kid it is, Cannon and Kai look so much alike. So that's why I do that. And so I'm just going to go through the book. Brian's all done. Oh, did you put it? Okay. I've done anything yet. Okay. Oh, the sticker. okay. The sticker maker. Well, why don't you do it? You can show people the sticker maker while you're doing that. And I'm just going to go through the album because I want people to see like how simple it is. The things that I've added. Did you do it? Okay. I'm working on it. Okay. Brian, did you do it? Okay. And then it has, okay. You tore it. Okay. Do you know how to... Put that on, and okay, I'm watching. Okay, so show them how to do it. Put it right here so you're showing. Go as close as you yeah, can. like that. Okay, so where is the adhesive at? Oh, <laughs> he drops it. It's okay. So, hold up. So, yep, so you take the adhesive off. Okay, show everybody. So make Got sure you're showing. Fingers. Okay, no, that's just too. trash. Now show them. Okay, now when you take that off, it's a sticker. That is the sticker now. Voila. Voila. And then you and can I'm put it like right. I wouldn't put it sideways because Gentry won't like it sideways. I would, yeah. 
<laughs> I know Gentry. Perfect. Us. So he put us up there. Okay. Perfect. And then you can start. Yeah, you can. So all yeah, of these. Time I start using the washing tape. Okay. So the ones with words, like for this one, I said never forget March 2020. Our, none of us are going to forget, right? Um, <laughs> this one says Tanner social distancing. This is how um, taking screenshots with when we're FaceTime. And if you're wondering if you guys FaceTime, um, I added two photos on a lot of my pages just because I had so many photos. This was when the boys were staying with us, social distancing, when we were watching them, when Gentry was having a baby. The next page that you can see here is, um, again, when I write, I love to then take my handwriting and I will use my lines as my guide. Like this one says, stay home, stay safe. And then I will take my coloring pencils and it just makes it stand out that something so simple to do, you guys, but documenting and putting those down. And so, and then again, the star was, I just love stars. I gave you a couple of the stars and you can print those out. The next page is I added another star. Like it just is so simple. And I put Canon card because Canon looks a lot like Kai. So you can see they were playing. This was prior to the quarantine. And again, here I have Capri card. I put Capri, actually I put Capri four and a half so that I can remember her age. There's cute Capri, they, this is the twins and we call Beckett, Beckett boy. Again, the labels, take your labels and then just take and fold those over. And this is a way to, I took, are you laughing? Lisa Mapp, I said, Brian's concentrating so hard. I, he, mean, I was focused. He was very focused, you guys. And then this one is just, this is a photo, by the way, that I had done that like stay home state. It was one of my social media posts that I printed out. And um, this one says, we stay home with a heart. And so here you go, you see, we stay home with a heart and I can take my heart that has not had any color in it. And this is the perfect thing to do for your labels is I'm going to color that in with a red heart because I want to remember that we stay home and I color that in with a red heart. Now, this is one of the blank labels that I said thankful for photos to keep connected and see my grandkids. And so again, use those labels, use those things. Now, um, this one I put uh, Mary December 18th, 2019, Draper Utah Temple, Aiden and Zach, so my whole family, if I went through this whole album, you guys, um, I haven't shown all the pages because it's all the, the same. You know, here's a blank one that I said, um, growing so fast, Ezra, 13 pounds. Uh, yeah, Ezra, you are getting big and I cannot wait to hold you. It's been over a month. Um, this one, I put a picture. We went to Disneyland in early March. And we renewed our annual passes. Brian, what happened? Oh, by the way, I got an email from them today. What did we hear? They'll just either extend them how long it was closed, or you can get free. You can get people to choose which I think we should just extend it, because we love Disney. Well, so we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going when we can go, when it's time. And so I put this photo in there, and I'm going to be journaling that, obviously, that we weren't able to go. You know, we had another trip planned didn't happen make it simple um, you can even put a label in between two photos I put right here thankful 24 7 when the boys were here when Gentry was having her baby these are photos from that so I even said watching the boys when Gentry went to the hospital to have Emmy write those things down you may remember them now but later you will forget if you're like me especially um, photos there's just two and a label there that has Ezra and it says cuteness. I bought him this Batman outfit. You guys, he's growing out of it. Um, and so here it is at Church with Brian. This was the last day in March that we got to go to church together um, or social distancing when we took um, dinner to McKay or I, Gentry. The smile, he's always smiling, you guys. And so really simple. The, I would say if there's anything that you've gotten from this today, Take photos, print the photos, put them in something, whether it's a photo album, a notebook. So Brian did, I want to show you with nothing, well, he did add a label. He put the photo, I like that you added your photo in the 
middle. And so when Devin and Gentry come to pick up the mask, you guys, look, he has an album already done. Brian did this. But I want, I want people to take a look at my cutting skills, too. Okay. So I, just so I get full oh, that's Okay, that's a, your, Where's the flowers? Your, your flowers. Oh, you your, no, your flowers are in your thing. Look, I think I did a pretty good job. You actually did better than me. You did really good. That flower. And then, yes. That flower. Yes, you did. You, he is, you're just so funny. I feel like I'm in kindergarten and I'm trolling the teacher. Look what I did, teacher. Can I show you what you uh -huh. could do with your washi tape, though? So for me, I love washi tape. So I'm just going to make it very simple. So what I love to do with washi tape when I'm using notebooks, I especially I'm addicted to stars. So I'm just I'm just adding and I use my lines as my guide. I put it on there. And now when I get to the edge, just because I you could always go on the back side, which I really love that idea. So I'm just gonna cut off an anything and I'm gonna wrap it to the back side. But look how cute it is to add your washi tape to the bottom of the pages. Look how cute that is, you guys. Add your washi tape, That's add fun. your, um, I just realized doing that upside down, I didn't do it even. Good thing washi tape can do it. There we go, okay. I think I did that better now, there we go. Oh, perfect, now, you sorry. So cute, so simple. Washi tape tells a story. Washi tape is just something I love so much. And, um, oh, I love this washi tape. Oh, ooh, I love this one too. Okay, so I love the spotted leopard maybe? Dalmatian. Dalmatian. Okay, we, we're gonna do this on the, just the front page just because I love this. Okay, so. Yep, that's a good one. Is that a good one? Do you like that one? And then I always I always look on the back side, but look how cute this is. So Emmy can, you can also just wrap it to the back. How cute is that? Oh, you know the other one? I'm so, oh, oh okay, this is so cute. Look at our washi tape. You guys, this is, this is the little mini hearts. Oh my goodness. We did these little mini. This was the our first release where we added so many minis. People are loving this. So this is hearts. So again, I'm going to kiss off. So this is what I'm saying. So super. Look at that. Jitri's going to love that. Okay, okay, should we do another one? Yeah. Okay, should we do, oh, 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 oh. This is from the, is this the Montchery? Where did we do the floral? Oh, or this? Design, isn't it? I know, but is it Floral Market? I think this yes. is the Floral Market. We yes. used the washi tape on this. Okay, I cannot get this open. Uh, uh, uh. Washi tape, washi tape is all not made. Um, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. It's not made the same. So one of the things I love about my washi tape, you guys, if you have not seen, I'm gonna just put it right here on the bottom is I designed it so that it was almost transparent see-through so that when it's on the page, look how cute that is. <gasps> look at that, look at the flowers. This is so pretty for this album. We're gonna give her some washi tape when she comes Looking because good. Gentry does, they love my products, which is a good thing, but look how cute. Or, okay, I love my my um, my stripe. Some of my, yeah, okay. So cute, see how simple that is? So you decide, or, and here's another thing. If you decide and you go, you know what? I don't want, I don't want to have washi tape on it. Washi tape, off, throw it away, done. Okay, that's it, you guys. So simple. Love you guys so much. Thank you for joining us. And we hope to do this Thanks again. Thanks for being nice to me. Very soon. Yes, thank you. He, <laughs> he was a good sport about doing it and fun. showing you. Thank you guys. We love you so Thanks, much. Everybody. See Goodbye. Ya. Thank you.